Hello, hello. Welcome back. Oh, hello. I'm back with my bestie. Oh, he didn't miss me at all. No, I'm sure he did. I've spent all day on the couch editing my South Korea vlog today and it's all ready to go up tomorrow night. I miss the group of people we were in South Korea with so much and editing that vlog just made me so sad. <laughs> but also I'm due for my period like next week, I think, and I can feel it coming because I've been so anxious yesterday and today and this always happens like a week before my period and I have no idea what that means. I mean, my anxiety is just random as it is. Like that's the whole point of anxiety, but like what about my menstrual cycle and my hormones? makes me anxious. I hate it so much. To be fair, it's like my only big period symptom. Like I get summer cramps, but I'm pretty lucky in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> so I haven't been having any coffee and I've just been <laughs> trying to relax and breathe deeply. But today has just been hard for no reason, which is just annoying. So I've decided I'm going to go get McDonald's for dinner and I'm going to come home and I'm going to watch The Parent Trap and have a little date night with myself. And I'm so excited about it. Bye Winnie Blue. Be back in a bit. He's mad at me. Bye. I love you. I will be ordering on the app before I go because that is the only way to do it. Mmm. $10 small Big Mac meal with a cheeseburger. Like, say less, you've convinced me. I would also like a McFlurry. Gorgetastic bar B. Head to the restaurant. It's been a great time to be a teenage girl, a 25 year old teenage girl, because Renee Rapp's album has still been living rent free in my head. And now Olivia Rodrigo's album Guts is so good. Wow, it's so good. I feel like it's getting a lot of smack talk on TikTok. Everyone be like, so it's better, so it's better. I like both equally, I hate to say it. I love it so much. Oh, the grudge hurts my heart. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of chilly. When my entire world was changed. Arguments that I've won against you in my head. You must be insecure, you must be so unhappy. But man, those cuts are never equal. But I want to scream. It's a strength to forgive, but I don't feel strong. Just place an order through the app. Hey, you're a good travel through. Thank you. I haven't had a Big Mac in ages. I gotta take my pickles off. Oh, there are no pickles. Gorgeous. If there are any masculine lesbians out there who are willing to eat the pickles off my burgers, my Instagram is linked down below. <laughs> Slide on in. Yum! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get the parent trap on. Wow, I can search on my Telstra TV for a movie and it tells me what streaming platform it's on. That's stunning. It's for the way you look to you. Hello, it's the most awful creature that ever walked the planet! Thank you, thank you very much. Marvelous! switching up my thoughts. I go from seeing people in love or like hearing love songs or reading romance books and I go from thinking wow I can't wait to have a love like that one day to I'm gonna be alone forever and no one is ever gonna love me like that. <laughs> and it's a vicious vicious cycle. I hate it here. I've been trying out this lounge face mascara by Lauren Curtis and I think I enjoy. That's it on there. I feel like the wand like kind of hurts my eyes. I mean not that I'm touching my eye with it but feels kind of rough but the mascara looks great. I'm just getting ready to head to Soph's because I have separation anxiety and can't be away from her for more than a few days and I haven't seen her since Thursday in the Sydney airport. So I'm gonna drive and see her and just spend the day with her and then probably head back after dinner to avoid the traffic. Like my anxiety right now, I kind of just need a day with my best friend. So that's what's happening. That's my mascara on both eyes. I quite enjoy. I curled my hair yesterday and I feel like it looks kind of good now, but if I brush it, which I need to, my hair gets so knotty, um, it's gonna be straight. So, okay, I honestly think I wanna recurl it because I love it curled. Also just an update on my hair. I'm loving it more and more every day. I <laughs> was really scared at the start when I first cut it that I absolutely hated it and I was gonna hate it forever. I was really in the mindset of, oh, it's okay. It'll grow back, it'll grow back. <laughs> but I actually really like it. It's so much easier to maintain like I actually can't believe I was dealing with my long hair for so long it was so annoying this is so easy to wash so easy to brush so easy to style I'm obsessed and it just looks so much healthier than my long hair was which is the main thing I guess 
So if you keep sending me Snapchat memories of one year ago today and we were doing our Europe trip and this time last year we were in Brighton and I can't wait to go back. So if and I booked our end of year Christmas trip last week and I'm so excited. I feel like going to South Korea really like gave me the travel bug. Like I'm ready to be everywhere but here. <laughs> but equally, it makes me so happy and grateful that I like love coming home. Like I was obviously so sad to come home from Korea, but I also just like love my home so much. I love living on the Gold Coast. I love everything about living here. It's so nice to like be excited to go away, but equally like not dread coming home. I'm very, very grateful. Also, this is a book I'm currently reading. It's book club book and it's <laughs> almost the end of September and I'm just starting it. I read chapter one last night so get a really long way to go i'll bring that just in case headphones stanley i just need my dog do you want to go in the car yeah i know it's pretty exciting okay been so bad at staying up so late and then sleeping in i think because while we were away in south korea that's what we did for like <laughs> winston has the zoomies that was our routine we were <laughs> winston <laughs> we were going to bed at midnight 1 a.m 2 a.m and then waking up at like 8 9 10 a.m and i just haven't been able to break that habit since getting home it's not the worst thing in the world but every day i'm like oh i'd love to get to bed earlier tonight and then it's 11 p.m. and I'm still wide awake. I had three coffees today as well, which I shouldn't have done. I've just been editing this vlog and I realized that I hadn't spoken to you. I've just been filming montage after montage, but I've had the nicest couple of days. I had some meetings with Lang that I couldn't film earlier this week. And then today I had a big long brunch catch up with my friend Kate and I always love seeing her so much. And then I took myself to a book cafe. I've never been to Bookface before, which I don't know why, but it was so cute and it was so stormy and rainy today and so I just bought a little coffee I sat in a book shop slash cafe and read my book and I had a great time I also practiced really great self-restraint and I didn't buy any books while I really really wanted to um so really proud of myself Winston is going crazy we went on a night walk but apparently it wasn't enough to tire him out but seeing as I'm not tired hopefully I can get a little bit more reading done before I head to bed I'm only two chapters in and I'm kind of enjoying this already I think the key I've figured out right now is to go in with your expectations always on the floor <laughs> because then if the book is bad or you don't enjoy it you're not disappointed and if the book is good then it's just so much better because you weren't expecting it to be good I don't know why I literally haven't heard anyone talk about this book I know that it's very popular and a lot of people have read it but I've avoided hearing everyone's opinions because I didn't want their opinions to sway my opinions so I've gone in with my expectations extremely low and I'm really enjoying it <laughs> I have actors in my head who play the two main characters and that has made me enjoy it a lot again I'm literally two chapters in but I'm intrigued it's a big book which it does intimidate me like anything more than 300 pages intimidates me how many pages is this I don't want to read anything 475 I also have come to the realization that I don't think I 
I've read any general fiction before and this is general fiction so I'm intrigued to see how I feel about this genre in general anyway sometimes if I think about vlogging a little bit too hard like sometimes it just feels like I'm actually just sitting down talking with friends then other times I'm like well I am just sitting alone in my house talking to myself it's kind of strange if you really really think about it and that's where I'm at right now I'm gonna shower and read and head to bed I'm planning to have a really productive housewife morning tomorrow I'm gonna do my washing I'm gonna vacuum I'm gonna clean my bathrooms I'm gonna wash some bed sheets I am going to be a housewife for me myself and I and then Ling and I have got some work to do around midday and then we're getting our nails done which I'm so excited about these are so long and disgusting and bothering me and I need them fixed first what problem so fully aware and then I have a really fun weekend ahead I don't know why I've just given you a little explanation for the rest of my week I'm gonna shower I'm gonna go to bed good night I would just like everyone to know that I was in fact an amazing housewife yesterday. I got so much done, but for some reason I couldn't get myself to do it during the day and I had a big surge of energy at night. So I went to bed at midnight for no reason. It's currently almost 6 a.m. I'm up, I'm ready. Soph just got here, I think, and we're gonna head to the beach and go for a, not a sunrise walk, because the sun rose like half an hour ago, but a morning beach walk. I'm very excited, but I woke up too early and I feel so nauseous because of it. Oh, five, five, five. Let's go to the beach. to make them their own pile yeah oh, oh my gosh you have a favorite cover i think this one's my favorite yeah i do like that I one i kind of love it i think the first one's my favorite yeah the pink and the red oh. and like all of those i asked sam what his favorite cover was and he said this one because it was giving louis vuitton <gasps> and i was like whoa what a king <laughs> okay okay, okay. King. no it's I'm in for a red it's a wild ride <laughs> We have to shower. I don't want to shower. <laughs> I actually would love to just follow you around with the camera all day. <laughs> I would day. love that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I peed on mum's bed last night. <laughs> Freshly washed bed just before she was about to go to sleep. Do you think he's guilty? He's not even giving me eye contact. He's so. giving guilty. It is. Oh, the side eye. Winston. <laughs> The attitude. The attitude on him, he knows. Men. <laughs> the audacity. Greyline sent me another package. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm obsessed with Greylines. It says, I came, I saw, I missed my dog, so I left. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I love the font. Yeah, on all and of the them. blue. Yeah. If that isn't me, checking my furbo every hour. <laughs> Tired girl summer. <laughs> Oh, I love big That's oversized so teeth. I have the right to remain silent, but not the ability. <laughs> That's good. I like it. I like I that a like lot. Gorgeous. Obsessed. The purple's kind of a vibe. I actually think so too. I love the blue and the purple, actually. Thank you so much, Grey Lines. It's so fun. It's time to get in the shower. Sleepover! Who knows? Surprise! Anyone feeling overwhelmed? I've got band-aids if anyone needs them. Oh, thanks, baby girl. I'm gonna accidentally call someone baby girl who I won't want to call baby girl and then it'll be in no, I was saying I said gorge to someone I was ordering coffee from. I was like, this just has one shot in it, hey. She was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, gorge. I walked out, I was like, I just got the ick with myself. <laughs> gorge. Gorge tastic Barbie. So where are we going? Please help! Please help! Please help! We're going to Breeze Hens, which is quite fun. It's, it's so fun! We're having a garden party. Well, we're in Whoa, we're in <laughs> Settle down, mate. Garden party vibe, followed by a sleepover. Sleepover! My theme park day tomorrow. Oh, theme like park what? <laughs> like what? Great three activities. My no great hands. Great hands. Yeah. This is my kind of hands. <laughs> and so I already know, just like based off Bree as a person, that it's gonna be filled with like great people. I agree. <laughs> Us included. <laughs> I love sleepovers. I love being a teenager in our twenties. <laughs> Oh, your nails are really 
<laughs> there better not be any sound to this. It's better be a montage. When you're done, I want you all to just sit down. <laughs>